What's going on guys, Heighten86, back with another video, that's twice today, put up a video. Anyways, first weekend of the, the beta, Advance over, done. There's a website you can send your feedback in. If you've been playing this weekend and you have any issues or anything like that, you can send it in to Sledgehammer Games and they'll probably cipher through everything. And you know, If you want your voice to be heard, I suggest... Go on there, I'll post a link down below in the description. As well as, I just seen a tweet from Charlie Intel. I will post his Twitter account down in the description as well if you've never heard of him. That uh, Sledgehammer is aware and working on World War II feedback. And I'm going to read a couple of these off to you just so you get the gist of what they're fixing. It has come to our attention that some users are seeing an incorrect error message saying servers are down when they are not. So they already know that's happened. I've seen that happen a couple times. Uh, some of the battle chatter and hitmarker audio still requires some fine tuning. Specifically, the NPC callouts of enemy positions need some addressing. They're a little OP if you think about it. Like You don't even have to talk to your teammates. The AI is hollering at where everyone is. They are adjusting domination kill points to 100 points from 50. They're going to increase TDM end game score from 75 to 100. That's huge. Because when it was at 75 this weekend, games were only lasting like six and a half minutes. I think 100's where to go, and we've had 100 now for a couple years, so it's almost pretty much the norm. Hit feedback improvements, including better audio and more obvious headshot indicator. Which is nice because really you don't know unless you look down the kill feed whether you've gotten a headshot or not. They're reducing the Molotov to one Molotov per score streak. Sprint out to ADS time refinement. Incendiary cells shells as default off, as opposed to right now when you use them, they're loaded first right off the hop. And they're perhaps they're gonna nerf them. They're still looking into that. They're looking at paratrooper strength and cost balancing. Recon aircraft too vul vulnerable to rifle damage. Colorblind support option going in for next weekend. And that's basically it. I did see something tweeted out a couple hours ago that they had on the website that they're bumping the level cap up to level 40 for next weekend. But that apparently has been taken off the Activision site, so not 100% sure what the truth is to it we'll have to wait and find out in the comments down below let's hear what you guys what you guys actually think of the game so far how you feeling what's is it good bad you know what what do you think could be fixed leave down the comments below and uh, share the sh share the hell out of this video let's get this around so people can you know really t discuss this all right and I am going to call this video My Thoughts. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. This is going to be the end of it here. I'm just going to leave it with the rest of this gameplay. This is the very last game I played before the beta shut down. I actually end up getting to play the game with this. First time using an LMG as well. It was different. Kind of liked it. Wish I had to use it earlier on in the beta. Now I know for next week. Huh? Hit that thumbs up. Like the video, subscribe, you know the whole deal. Comment down below what you think about the game. We'll see you in the next one. Recon airborne. Over there!
there! Move it! Throw a stick and grenade! Ah. Enemy recon aircraft observed! 